hello everyone today we are going to work on how to show this last scene position sellout see now you can see there is a snapshot or a sellout where the enemy character saw us for the last time see it get updated as i continue to hide from the character so we can get an idea where the enemy might be looking for us okay so this is what we are going to work on today and before we get started i'd like to remind you you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects that i have done from the patreon page i'll leave the link in description below to the date there are closer to 2000 videos and for each video project file is accessible once you become a member and this is a part of the section RPG with gameplay ability system series. You can watch all other episodes as well in my channel. I'll leave the link to the full playlist also in the description. And let's get back to today's tutorial. Okay, to render the last scene position, first I'm gonna create an actor maybe in the AI folder let's call it pp last scene okay. and here let me open this and I'm gonna add the same mesh as I have in these characters which is actually the mannequin let me just copy this ctrl c and ctrl v now we don't really need this animation blueprint here so let me set it to none for now and then wait let's go to this location and then let's create a new animation blueprint select the sk mannequin as the skeleton play i'll call it abp so snapshot because all it's going to do is render in a snapshot of the reference character all right now here I'm going to use the node copy pause from mesh and then promote this source mesh to a variable let's just call it source mesh component okay now here I'll add another custom event let's call it text snapshot okay and then all i want to do is here get the skeletal mesh get anim instance and then i'll cast to abp snapshot And here set source mesh component as the source mesh I'm gonna get player character from this we can get mesh skeletal mesh and set now just for testing here I'll call take snapshot and then let me what did i say dimension blueprint get a pp snapshot so for now as you can see nothing is there but if i place one of these actors in the level maybe like this and if i play you can see 
my animation is exactly copied to the other character this uh, last scene actor so here then but I don't really want it to animate all I want it to do is just freeze in some snapshot location so here let's do it like this set for sanims initially I'll make sure it is unpaused and then I'll pause it maybe after a delay like this all right so now you will see if I play now as you can see it's frozen in some position okay great uh, now let me just remove this and then let's go back to AI and PC here I'll add another event let's call it show last scene seal out okay now here uh, what's the best way to do this but for now I'll just spawn spawn actor from class and as the class I'll just oh well this could be a function actually oops that's not the way Can I convert event to version? Yeah. That's a bit. Right. Now here as the class I'll choose PP last scene and promote this to a variable. I'll call it last scene just last thing snapshot last scene snapshot well, I should have called last scene sell out maybe let's rename this to snapshot because that's simpler okay now as this one transform oh here we need to pass which actor that we are going to show this show this uh, snapshot of but usually we only need to show this for the player so get player character later on we, let's change this if needed get transform and use player stars for or maybe we should do this separately here but I always spawn and after this set transform no we need to reuse this again and again so instead of setting the transform here here I just call take snapshot okay now I'll just play this and leave it like this so we only need to spawn if we don't have a valid reference here it's not valid otherwise we can simply proceed now in the take snapshot here I'll also
set actor transform and from the player get actor transform and set it like this okay now let's go back to AI so where should we call this show last snapshot we need to call this when we lose sight of the player so and also we should not show this for other opponent NPCs only for the player so here I'll add an input let's call it a factor name target actor okay and let's check his player if yes so only if the target that we lost seen is the player we are going to show the snapshot now i can simply call this here show snap show last seen snapshot and the target actor is whatever the actor here that we lost seeing lost sight of okay is that or shall we check oh is it going to freeze okay okay it worked but it did take some time uh, I'll make sure there is no collision here and also I have a holographic material that I imported here this I'll use this material this is I'll show you where I created that Oh, in other words, this material, this has to be render custom dead pass. Otherwise, it doesn't look correct. Okay. Yeah, see? Now you can see clearly where are the last seen location and if I yeah okay great uh, maybe we need to add a timeout for this Let's add a re-triggerable delay of let's say 3 seconds and set hidden in game. Make new hidden true and here we need to make sure also it's not hidden so like this did I have a retriggerable delay yeah ok 
okay so this is all i want to do like this Okay, uh, one more thing. I created this holographic material in this video, hologram material in Unreal, in Unreal Engine. So I just removed this stripe part and only used the transparent holographic part of the material. You can watch this uh, material tutorial. I'll leave the link in the description if you want to have the same effect. But other than that, you feel free to use any kind of material you want. So this part is not done. We still need to do stuff like how this would work in a multiplayer game. And also we, I don't think it's a good idea to show them, show this snapshot everywhere. It's just, it should only be visible maybe time to time in certain places so otherwise it would be too much okay so thanks for watching updated project files will be available for the download in the patron page link would be in the description below and see you in another episode goodbye